So what's better, bigger batteries or bigger panels? If it's cloudy out, bigger panels allow you to get more light. But if your batteries are too small, you won't store the energy. And definitely if you have too small a battery, if you don't get sun one day, you'll be out of power. Now how I compensate for this is I have a large lead acid battery array that I jump to when my lithium ions run low. And that's kind of like my last stage backup. And the idea is that this should never run out. And if, if the grid is up, I tag this up in case I didn't collect enough charge uh, from the uh, solar to uh, touch it up. And in case there is no grid and there's many days of clouds in a row, then I would touch this up with uh, gasoline generators or propane generators. And that really only happens fairly rarely. Like during winter and near summer solstice, or winter solstice, that's kind of when you're at risk of uh, not getting enough sun uh, over a period of several days to get any charge. So how do you choose what to invest in? If you have like a typical solar system, should you increase the size of your battery or increase the number of panels? And this is of course assuming that your system is reasonably balanced and you want to expand it. So maybe which one would you prioritize? I mean, today here it's a completely cloudy day and it was cloudy yesterday too. So that's kind of a problem because I'm not getting enough sun to charge up my batteries. Wow. One option is to spend more on panels and even put tracking systems and things like that up to uh, cover you on cloudy days so that whatever light there is, maybe you collect a little more. But is this really the right answer? I mean, which would you rather have? Bigger batteries or more panels? Now, many people believe the answer is a bigger panel, but I'm gonna argue for bigger batteries. And how's that, you might ask? I mean, don't you think that if you just had more panels, you could charge up in case it's a little cloudy? So I'm going to just make a little sketch here. So this is what happens to your battery if you've got plenty of sun. The state of charge will go like this, like it's charging and discharging depending on like whether it's night or day, and nothing special happens. So this is with a battery that's got plenty of solar panels and enough capacity. So it's kind of discharged. This is the state of charge, and this is time. Now, as the battery gets older, it'll hold less. So eventually, the capacity will be down, and it'll actually start pegging down here, where it's like clipping off because it um, no longer has enough capacity. So as the battery decays and gets older, it goes down. So you always want to have more capacity than, than you need just to compensate for the aging of the battery. So the first reason to have overcapacity is battery decay over a period of years. The next reason is uh, for the cloudy day case. Now, if you don't get any sun, sun or very little, your battery will do this. Now that's assuming your battery is oversized and can last a long time. Now, a common statement that I hear, which I'm not sure is correct, is that you want to have enough panels to fully charge your battery in one day. That's true, but it's not necessarily strictly true. If your battery is super sized and your panels are not, not big enough to charge your battery all the way, but your battery can last for many days, that's okay. But what is not okay, no matter how big your panels are, is you can't have a battery that's too small to make it over a full day if you get no sun. So this is okay. This is not okay. This is okay. This is not okay. So for many reasons, investing in a bigger battery, even one that's so big that you don't have enough panels to charge it, might be the right move. Now this is for debate, so if you have any opinions on it, just put your comments in the comment section and, and we can debate it in a future video.